Have you had beautiful, healthy pigeons die overnight? They look spectacular one day and they're dead the next. I'm going to discuss this, what's happening, how you can help it, and uh, I've received many calls recently. So this is running pretty rampant where people are losing anywhere from a few birds to many pigeons of their flock. Now, for starters, this is called adenovirus type 2. Now, adenovirus, I know in the pigeon world we say adenovirus, but it's actually adeno. Um, is a virus that affects the adult pigeons. Most of us are familiar with the adeno adenovirus for the young pigeons. The birds get sick, they lose weight, E. coli goes up, they're off for a week or two, and then they bounce back, they come around and they're fine. There's a difference. The type 2 actually will hit an adult pigeon, and usually within 24 hours, the bird is dead. Now, many call and say, oh, there were no symptoms. Well, there are symptoms. If you see the bird, it'll be slightly sluggish, like it'll be a little slower than the rest of the group. I've seen this before. It can be treated. You can save the pigeon if you catch it early. Most never notice it. If the bird's sitting on the eggs or breeding and you're running in and out feeding the birds, you won't even notice it. Now, adenovirus type 2 is deadly. Now, what is the reason for this? Well, the pigeons carry it. I mean, it's something It's in them. They have it. The problem when it bounces up or when it comes about is when the immune system is suppressed or not so great. Now, with the amount of uh, medications and antibiotics that people have been supplying their birds over the years, a lot of times the immune systems are just not what they should be. So this happens. The adenovirus, adenovirus type 2, the E. coli in the gut goes crazy, causes it a massive response. It tends to overwhelm the pigeon system. It can overwhelm the uh, liver, which again, you'll see a pigeon right before it dies may have bright yellow droppings. It upchucks. It's an intestinal, and then it poisons the bird system and the bird dies. Now, there's things you can do. Proper hygiene is great. You want to build the immune system. You want to vaccinate. There's some good vaccines out there. The adeno PMV herpes vaccine is great. The adeno circo PMV is great. You probably want to vaccinate your birds once a year with a vaccine that contains the adeno virus. This will help the birds. The other thing you want to do is try to stay away from the constant medication where you're medicating before breeding, during the race season, after breeding, uh, preventative medications. All this weakens the immune, the bird's immune system. You want to strengthen the pigeon's immune system. Now, over the years, I've had pigeons with this adenovirus type 2. I've seen them one minute they look good, then you see them this sluggish. Now, you can save the bird with a massive dose of amoxicillin, and I'm talking a massive dose of amoxicillin. I had um, 500 milligram capsules, and you can wet the capsule, put it right down the bird's throat. Usually, that'll save the bird. Sometimes, I'll do it a couple of days and then continue with like a weaker dose for a period of time. If you don't have the 500 um, milligram capsules, you can mix up the amoxicillin 10%. Maybe I would literally give about a 16th of a teaspoon to an ounce of water and syringe the bird. Now, when I was in the importing business, Business birds would come out of quarantine, they'd get stressed. I'd go in the section, I'd notice one was a little sluggish. Big dose of amoxicillin, I could save the bird for the next day. And I knew if I didn't give it that dose, the bird would be dead the next morning. So be aware of that. Now, if your birds are dying, you lose three or four healthy pigeons. I mean, it usually will run through them pretty quick. And uh, the birds with the compromise and the weakened immune system will die, which is scary. I mean, you don't want to lose your best pigeons. But things you can do, vaccinate. Vaccinate your birds for multiple things. The more you challenge the immune system, the stronger it gets. So by vaccinating for salmonella, for PMV, for herpes virus, for adenovirus, all this stimulates the immune system. The immune system is better to fight when it's been stimulated by all these different vaccines. 
Also, having the birds mixed and associating with other pigeons, again, it builds the immune system. Staying away from the antibiotics. Part of the reason the bird dies is because something else will run rampant in the bird's system. Like the E. coli may go crazy, but something else, another bacteria might go crazy in the bird's system. And because of the birds have had a lot of antibiotics to keep themselves healthy, they can't fight this adenovirus type 2. So you may lose some pigeons. You may lose a lot of pigeons. Sometimes you might only lose one. I would recommend, you know, cleaning the water. Another option is if you notice a couple die, you could always take and put like um, half teaspoon of Vircon S, the disinfectant, in the water for five days. For some reason, a light disinfectant in the water tends to stop the spread, tends to kind of nullify it a little bit in the bird system. Not exactly sure why, but it is beneficial. But if you dealt with that or you don't know what it is, it is an adenovirus type 2. It will more than likely than not kill the bird if you don't do something. If you catch it early, you can save the pigeon. I've done it. I've saved the pigeon. But it, you need a massive dose of amoxicillin. Now, other people have recommended using like a Bachel or something like that, but I don't think you can give a massive dose of like an enrofloxin because I just think that overwhelms the system. The liver's already weak. Amoxicillin is very mild. So my recommendation would be amoxicillin. You can save the bird. And uh, I've received so many calls. It's happening during breeding season because the virus and the stress of breeding, you know, the immune system goes down a little bit, gets suppressed, and uh, pigeons will start dying. And you don't want your best pigeons to start dying. So vaccinate them, keep them healthy, give a good oregano product several days a week. I'm going to start uh, showing you that my favorite oregano product, I've just found a new one. It contains cinnamon. I'm going to do a video on it. I love it. It's going to really help the sport. Again, Frank McLaughlin, McLaughlin Loss, like, like and subscribe, and I'll keep the videos coming and share with your friends. Thanks.